Maggie, thank you for always doing things around the house. I got a bonus, and it's our fifth wedding anniversary. I'm thinking of buying a car for us. Are you serious? Yeah. I've got the car you wanted, and I even got a good deal. Are you serious? I can't believe it! That nice car? I'm not kidding. I thought that car was nice too. You're working as a freelancer now too. Our income has become more stable, so I thought it would be a good idea. What do you think? I can still cancel though. I would never say no. It's the car I've always wanted. But I had always wanted to buy that car. Well then, good for you. I wanted it to be a surprise though, as a way of thanking you for your daily supports. If it didn't work out, I would have canceled it. I just had to talk to you about it. It's a big purchase for sure. But I'm all for it. And it's a surprise too. Made me happy to hear that. Thank you. But of course, I'll pay for it too. What? Are you sure? I was thinking of making it my gift to you. That's too expensive for a gift. But I appreciate the gesture. Don't worry, I'll pay for it too. Really looking forward to it. Mackie, how could you get such a nice car? It's not fair. Wait, what? I heard it from my mom. Dean is buying you a car, right? I can't believe it. Why? You're just a useless housewife. You heard this from your mom? Why do you get to have a fancy foreign car? You're just a housewife. I'm working, but I only get to drive an old used car. Dean should have just told his mom that he was buying a new car. Besides, it's not only your brother who is buying this car. I heard the story from my brother. I heard he is buying a fancy foreign car. That's unfair. You're not even working. Do you enjoy making your husband pay that kind of money? I had saved myself some money too. And that was a car of my dream, so I really wanted it. I've been trying so hard to save money for a while now. I don't buy your story. Don't get so ahead of yourself. I have savings from before we got married. Plus our shared savings. And I'm freelancing now and making a little money. We're buying it with that money. I don't understand what you're talking about. How dare you, a housewife, spend my brother's money on your own car? You're the worst. I'm telling you, it's my money too. And I do work freelance from home. I mean, Carla, it's none of your business anyways. What do we spend our money on is up to us. But it's not fair. I think it is absolutely ridiculous. But it's our decision. You'll let me drive it, right? Huh? I can drive it too, right? I work hard every day too. But I haven't been able to afford a nice car. So you can let me drive. I can't let you drive it. But I think I can give you a ride. Why not? I can't let you drive because the insurance policy only covers me and Dean. I can't let someone else drive my car that easily. You're a cheap steak. You spend so much money on a car, but you won't let me, your sister-in-law, drive it. I wouldn't even let my own brother drive my car. It's not safe to let someone without insurance coverage drive. I don't know what you're talking about. That means you look down on me, doesn't it? Huh? That's not what I'm saying at all. You're so lucky my brother makes good money. That's the only reason you can afford it. Carla, what are you trying to say? Why are you so jealous? Huh? Why would I be jealous of an old tag like you? There's no way I'm jealous of you. It seems like you're jealous that I'm getting a new car. I'm not jealous. I just don't like it. It pisses me off that you get to have nice things without any effort. I'm working hard every day at my part-time job at the supermarket. My husband never gives me anything. I'm living paycheck to paycheck. You should talk to your husband about that. It's your family. I can't really say anything. I'm pissed off at you for spending my brother's money so proudly. Anyways, I'm going to bar your car later. I'll go visit you soon. Please, call me when you come. 
I'll tell Dean about it. Make sure you tell him to lend me that car. I can't lend you the car. I'm sorry. Bye now. It's so unfair for you to get to drive a car like that. And a white car. That's the color I wanted. Huh? I was so pissed off, so I painted it black. I think it looks better now. That car is too fancy and doesn't suit you at all. I know you're jealous. But what are you talking about? A white car? How many times have I told you I'm not jealous? You were so cocky. I had to spray black paint all over that car. I changed the color of your car so you can thank me. Wait. I don't know what you're talking about. Which car are you talking about? And you painted it? You parked the car in front of your house, right? I can't believe you parked in such an obvious place. Are you trying to show off? You don't deserve to drive that car. So I sprayed paint on that white car and made it black. My car is originally black, though. Huh? Then whose car is this? My car is black. And I'm not home right now. So my car is not parked in front of the house. What are you talking about? What did you do? Wait a minute. An angry looking man just came out of the house next door. Are you saying that you painted that neighbor's car? But it was parked in front of your house. I didn't know it wasn't your car. What did I do? This is a really bad situation, isn't it? They don't usually park their car in front of their house. So I'm not sure whose it is. Anyway, that's not my car. I suggest you apologize to him quickly. I can't. I'm too scared. I'm leaving. You didn't hear anything. You can't do that. Even if that's not our car. Do you mean you mistakenly sprayed paint on someone else's luxury car? That's a crime. I think you should apologize before the problem gets out of control. If you apologize properly, they might forgive you. I don't think so. I bet they will do something bad to me. If they ask you something, don't say anything. You definitely shouldn't run away. They're definitely going to find out later that you did this. If it was just paint, you can clean it somehow, can't you? No, I also scratched the car. Huh? Why did you do that? Because I was pissed off. I hated that you got such a nice car. I can't believe that those feelings are enough for you to act like that. Anyways, I really think you owe them an apology. Are you still there? Hello? I heard that uh, Carla's not home yet. That doesn't surprise me. I just wanted to talk to the neighbor earlier, just in case. What? Did you go there by yourself? I get along well with the neighbor's wife. We chat once in a while, so it was no problem. One of their associates was over for a short while, and he wasn't going to stay there that long, so he didn't park properly. That's why he parked in front of the house, apparently. That was the whole story. I apologized to them, but they said it wasn't our fault and not to worry. They apologized to me, actually. I see. I'm glad to hear that. But what happened to Carla? It looks like Carla will have to pay for her actions. The neighbor's wife doesn't seem to be able to interfere in all this. The man who was visiting them today is allegedly a mop boss or something, and that was his car, apparently. What? Seriously? That sounds really bad. She was trying to get out of there. But she was caught on the spot. Put in their car and taken away. Well, the wife said she would be able to pay the price in their way. And after she paid, they will let her go home. They can't do anything outrageous these days like they used to. I think she's simply going to be held responsible for the damage to the car. Then I guess it's okay. I contacted Carla's husband just in case. He too said it was her own fault and she had no choice. I never thought this would happen. Our neighbor's also just a victim. Yeah, I'm going to buy some kind of gift as an apology for them after work. Well, it seems like Carla is safe. I hope this is an opportunity for her to reflect. Even if she was jealous that I drive a nice car. If you harass people like this, you will end up hurting yourself. I hope she understands a little better.
If she doesn't get it, I'll cut her off forever. What? Why? I'm done with that kind of sister. I'm tired of cleaning up her mess. Yeah, you're right. That might be the best thing to do. Hi, Maggie. It's been a minute. Huh? Carla? Are you okay? Where are you now? I'm very sorry about what I did. I will never do anything like that again. I sincerely regret it. What a change in character. I'm glad you have reflected on yourself. Don't do something like that ever again. Of course. Dean and I have already decided that we want to keep our distance from you. I'm sorry, but don't come to our house anymore. I got dumped by my husband as well. Could you please help me? I see. I'm sorry, but we can't help you. And I think you deserve it. I am truly sorry. You'll have to deal with it yourself. Please don't abandon me. I really regret everything. I have no one else to turn to. Sorry, but when you come to our house, I'll tell the neighbors again. Please don't do that. I understand. I promise I won't bother you guys anymore. You're not a problem anymore, but good luck. Well then, goodbye. Carla was taken away for a month to pay for the damage. No one knows what happened to her during that time. She had an unimaginable experience, and she came back as if she were a different person. However, she was eventually abandoned by her husband, who divorced her and kicked her out of the house. Her parents have also abandoned her and will not allow her to move back to their home. Carla was also cut off by her brother and sister-in-law. She has nowhere to go. She should have thought a little more before doing something so stupid. I think she finally realized that. But it's a little too late for that now. Millie, are you feeling okay? Shane told me that you caught a cold. Is there anything you need? I can bring them over if you want. Anna! Perfect timing! What's wrong? Do you have fever or something? Are you okay? Yeah, my fever is gone. I'm craving for strawberries right now. I ate the ones I got yesterday, but I just want them now so badly. I understand how you sometimes crave for things. If you don't mind being around 3 p.m., I'll deliver them to your place. Can you stay up until then? If it seems difficult, I totally get it, so don't push yourself. I think I can stay up at that time. Thank you so much. No problem. After I pick up Kylie from kindergarten, I'll be right there. But if you think you can get some sleep, it's okay to do so. I slept a lot, so I'm not sleepy at all right now. Besides, the baby in my belly is so active, I couldn't sleep even if I wanted to. Oh, I see. I still wish for you to get some rest. I know. Maybe my baby is worried about me too. I guess you're right. Without medicine, it's going to take a while to recover. I'm sure your baby's worried too, so you have to take lots of nutrition. It was really tough, but thanks to you, I feel much better now. Please don't worry about me too much. Okay, but don't push yourself too hard. You're carrying a baby inside you. I'll do whatever I can to support you. Thank you so much! I'm so blessed to have a sister-in-law who I can rely on. Oh, stop flattering me. I know how hard it is to be pregnant. You must be uneasy being home alone at a time like this. Yes. Oh, but please leave right away after you drop off the groceries. I can't have Kylie catch this cold. Yeah, after I hand you over the stuff at the entrance door, I'll head home soon, so we should be fine. Is there anything else you can eat? You can't even cook dinner tonight, can you? I'll buy something for Shane as well for dinner. Oh, really? You don't mind? I would really appreciate that. This big belly makes it hard to do housework. And the kitchen is so small. You really are the best, Anna. You're exaggerating, you know. 
Call me right away if you need anything. Well then, I'll go pick up Kylie now. After I do some shopping, I'll be on my way. Thank you. I'll be expecting you. Yeah, just wait for me for a bit. Relax while you can. Thank you. I'll see you later then. Thank you for bringing the food yesterday, Anna. I feel much better now. I think I'm good enough to go outside today. Really? That's great. But you've just recovered. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? I'll be fine. I haven't been out for days. I needed some fresh air. Since you brought me some groceries yesterday, I wouldn't have to carry heavy stuff. Well then, I guess I don't have to worry too much. Whenever things get tough, you can always rely on me. Thank you, but I'm sorry that you had to see our house in such a mess. Shane doesn't help at tidying things up. It's so embarrassing. Was it? I didn't think much of it. Oh really? Then I guess I blew myself up. Shane can be a little messy, you know. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I got mad at him when he left his clothes on the floor. I know, right? But lately, he helps me with pretty much everything. I'm very grateful for that. I'm glad he's helping you out. But that's natural, isn't it? You two are about to have a baby, and you're going through a lot of hard work right now. If there's anything he can do, let him do it. If he can't do any housework, it'll be a problem when you're hospitalized for childbirth. Yes, I will have him do some house chores. Let me treat you for lunch or something to thank you next time. Don't worry about it. It's already a week until the due date, right? You shouldn't worry about other things and just get some rest now. Thank you. I'll be in touch. Thank you for the baby gift, Anna. It's so cute. And I'll be sure to think carefully of how to spend the congratulatory money you gave us. You're welcome. Sorry that the congratulatory money being only a small amount. That's not true. Every little bit of money is important to us, and I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, are you eating well? Do you have any troubles? None at all. The baby is so cute, and I'm happy every day. Oh, right. Babies are so squishy and cute. Can I bring my baby with me to your house next time? I want Kylie to meet the baby too. Of course. Kylie's been looking forward to it, and I'm sure she'll be thrilled. I'm glad. And also, I'm sorry to ask you this, but could you look after the baby for a little while? What? You want me to look after your baby? Yes. The company I used to work for. Since I quit, they've been having a hard time. They asked me if I could help them out a little bit. It's only for two hours. I wanted to help them out while my baby's nap time, and I'm sure Kylie would love to play with the baby. But I'm not so sure if I can do that. I haven't touched a baby in years. Don't worry. Our body remembers that kind of thing. It's our motherly instincts. But isn't it too early for you to leave your baby's side and go to work? Oh, but it's not something happening today or tomorrow. I was thinking after the one-month checkup. Isn't it still too early? If the baby gets hungry and wakes up while I'm taking care of him, I won't be able to breastfeed him. That's okay. I'll breastfeed him before I drop him off. It's really just for a little while. Please. If you insist that much, I'm doing this only once, okay? I can't be responsible if anything happens to the baby. Thank goodness. Nothing can happen in just two hours, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Then I'll be bringing him next time I see you. I'll text you again. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm on my way to pick him up now. Millie, you're late. You haven't answered any of my calls. I'm so sorry. 
I couldn't finish my work. The people at work wouldn't let me go, even though they knew I had a baby to take care of. You were only supposed to help out today, right? Of course, I'd be worried about you, and also Hunter misses his mommy too. But I left you with some milk for when he got hungry. It's only half a day, so I'm sure he's fine. That's not the point. Being responsible and taking care of such a small baby, I get anxious too, you know. But you're more experienced in childcare, aren't you? I thought I could rely on you. Even if that's the case, leaving a newborn baby in someone else's care, don't you get worried? Not at all. Well then, I'll pay you money for babysitting him. Is that okay? That's not the point. Even Shane agrees with me. It was Shane who suggested it, saying it'd be a good idea to leave him with you, Anna. That's why he gave me permission to go back to work. Go back to work? Don't tell me you're going back to work, leaving him at my place. That's what I'm telling you. Oh, and of course, I'll pay you as his babysitter. Wouldn't it be better for Hunter to be wealthy? It's easier for me to earn money while leaving him with my relatives, but I can't take care of a baby who I have to keep an eye on on every second. I have Kylie too, so don't you think it would be good for Kylie as well? You wanted a second child, right? It would be good practice for you to become a mother of two. You know, like renting a baby. It works for both of us, right? Huh? Are you serious? Well, I guess I'm half serious. Aren't babies so cute? It's like sharing their cuteness. Are you kidding me? What is your baby to you? This is for the sake of our family's happiness. I'll thank you properly, Anna. What would you like to have? A brand bag or a purse? I'll buy you anything. I don't need that kind of thing. If that's the case, I can't take care of Hunter anymore. Oh, you don't have to be so harsh. You are being so nice to me. You told me to rely on you any time I needed help. This is not what I meant. It's the same thing. I've already told them I'd go to work tomorrow. I'll take him to you in the morning. What? Wait a minute, Millie. Are you listening to me? Missed call. Hey, Anna. Please open the door immediately. I'm going to be late for work. Missed call. I told you yesterday that I couldn't look after him, didn't I? I can't take care of such a small baby. I can't do it. What are you talking about? He's already in front of your house. Hunter says he wants to play with Carly. How can he say that? He's just a baby. I'm his mother, so I know what he wants to say. Just hurry up and come out. If you don't come out to pick him up, I'll leave him by the door. What? Wait a minute. Do you know what you're saying? Oh, I'm running late. I'll have to go now. Thanks for taking care of him. What? Hey. Cancel. Hey, Millie. Anna, I'll be counting on you today as well. And I've left some money for you too. Yeah. Okay. I'm so glad you're taking care of him. I'm sure you're happy with this outcome too, Anna. Being able to make some extra money that you didn't expect. My company pays by the day. I can earn five hundred dollars in a day. You get paid as much work you do. Shane says it's a big help, and that makes me work harder. This is all thanks to you, Anna. No, it's not like that. Oh, I'm really busy now. Now I can buy lots of toys for Hunter. Oh, and I want a new bag too. There's also a cute necklace I want. I wish I could introduce you to these fancy things, but I need you to take care of Hunter for me. I'll continue to pay you money. So please take good care of Hunter, okay? Well then, I'm off to work. Hey, missed call. Anna, 
Where are you? I came to pick him up. Why are you answering my calls? I won't let you have Hunter. I'm going to take care of him myself. Huh? What? Who are you? What do you mean Shane agreed with me? I didn't know you started working. You never told me such thing. What? Wait, you're Shane? Yeah, that's right. You don't come back home ever again. I'll take care of Hunter. Hey, what are you talking about? Are you mad at me for working without telling you? It's not about working. You lied to me and to my sister. How could you do such things, leaving little Hunter with my sister? What? What such things? This job you're talking about. It's a job dealing with men, right? That's not all. You meet with clients in person and you get paid for it. What the hell are you thinking? What are you talking about? You've got it all wrong. Shut up! I've got pictures to prove it. It's no use lying to me. What? I got a text from my sister. She said you went back to work and asked her to take care of Hunter. She said you even left him in front of the house once. You never told me of your work. As a matter of fact, you've never worked before, if I remember right. I thought it was weird, so I hired a detective to look into it. And here we are. A detective? What? A detective was following me? Yeah, that's right. I had no idea you were doing that. Don't you feel sorry for Hunter? Well, I wanted to go out too. Staying home with him all the time. You have no idea what that's like. Even if I did, it's not the kind of work you do just after giving birth. I figured out you were doing that job even when we were dating. You kept lying to me even after our marriage. What? How did you? It's easy to find out that kind of stuff if you look into it carefully. You said you were a normal office worker. How could you lie like that? Because if you knew my real job, you wouldn't have married me. I might have if you hadn't lied to me and told me everything honestly. You're absolutely lying. I mean, what's wrong with this? I get a lot of money. You, Anna, and myself, we all become wealthy and everyone's happy, right? I don't want the money you made while neglecting Hunter. Everything you've been telling me was a lie. But Kylie said she wanted a little brother. So what? Hunter is our child, right? Yes, but... My sister said she'd return all the money you gave her. She didn't spend any of it and kept it. Huh? Why? Because she doesn't want the money you earned by doing such disgusting things. The only reason my sister looked after Hunter for the past week was because I asked her to do so. I also took time off work to be at my sister's house every day. She kept me informed of your every move. So I know where and when you met whom. That's seriously creepy. You're a stalker. Are you out of your mind? You're the one who's out of mind. Going out, meeting clients, and getting paid for it? What if something happens? It's not like that. I only meet people who I trust. That's not the point. The fact that you're doing such things, I'd be worried thinking that Hunter might not be my own child. That's not true. Hunter is definitely our child. That was true. We tested his DNA. What? I can't believe. Why would you do that? Are you saying you doubted me? Of course I doubt you. You've been having sexual relationships with several men, and one of them seems to be your true love. Huh? talking about that's ridiculous
Alice. There's no point in hiding it. You couldn't be with him because he's married, right? I'm telling you that's not true. What are you talking about? Hunter has eyes like your secret lover. You're going to raise him together with that guy some day, right? I'm just your in-between guy until then, right? What? Wait a minute. Why do you? I checked your phone while you were asleep, so I know everything. You told him you wanted to have kids, and that it's okay to have sex with him, since you'll have sex with me on the same day. You're such an asshole. You're disgusting. No, it's not what you think. What's the difference? You're just a skank. Why are you checking my phone without permission? It's an invasion of privacy. You don't have any privacy. If you want to be with this guy so badly, divorce me and stay with him as long as you want. Since Hunter's not his child, you wouldn't need him, right? I'll raise him myself, so you stay away from him. Wait a minute. I'm the one who gave birth to him. How could you take his own mother away from him? You may have given birth to him, but you haven't taken care of him. Just forcing my sister to look after him instead. Even at home, I'm the one taking care of him. You don't want him, do you? Then leave him to me. What? You must be kidding. That's how you've been treating your own child. I'm glad he is really my son, and your parents. They want me to take custody of him, so I'll do as they wish. Huh? My parents? You told them? They came all the way out from Ohio. They're actually still with us right now. I even got them to look at the photographic evidence. What? Hey! Stop it! I'm disappointed in you. Go to that guy's place or wherever you want. I've already sent them pictures of you two together. Maybe they'll get divorced, and you guys can get together after all. Huh? What are you doing? I'm gonna charge you guys alimony, and from you, child support as well. But I'm only taking it in one lump sum, because I don't want anything to do with you from now on. Wait, hey, can I talk to you for a second? I, I got nothing to say to you. I'll never see you again. Wait, please. Hey, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Millie refused to get a divorce, but Shane had no intention of getting back together. Millie gave up, and Shane got custody. The other man also got divorced, but he ended the relationship between Millie, and they both paid alimony. Millie seemed to have a good amount of money. However, she has no family to rely on, and she is living in the dormitory of the store she works at. Millie's parents had no clue of their daughter's dirty work, and since they are still Hunter's grandparents, Shane lets them see Hunter regularly. He's still too young to go to daycare, so I help Shane look after Hunter at our house. My husband is also very angry about this whole incident. He says, "Let's support Shane and Hunter in any way possible." Kylie also loves him like he's her own little brother. I'm happy for Hunter, that he's got a family who loves him dearly.